Okay guys, just another little update. On my solar system, that's my wind turbine. At the moment I've got all of these connected to the um, to my grid tie inverter. There's my little Casey. And I'll just show you. That's a solar panel there. It's 140 watts each. These big ones. This is a 50. That one's a 40. And then those two are also 140 watts. Now in the shed. Basically, that's the battery bank there. So you could charge a battery bank and then from the battery bank it could go on to a basically an inverter this is a pure sine wave so I can literally I can run uh, lights I can run basically everything I want so for example that this light here is plugged in there you go so that's there's the light that, that wouldn't work with the normal one which will be something like this one here that's your standard sort of inverter it's alright for a lot of uh, things but not really for sensitive uh, things like computers and mobile phones and stuff like that um, well, if you don't want to go through the battery route so you don't, you don't want any batteries and you don't use these, these sort of inverters to give you 240 what you can then do you just connect it straight to your grid tie system which at the moment I've got I still got a hook up there that one there I've got one two that's a thousand two hundred watts and then I've got two three hundreds um, and they're just basically connected to the um, to the grid and just pumping juice into the grid so this one here for example is just pumping 131 there you go. I've only got two panels hooked up to it, and then you've probably seen these work anyway. But basically, they, they, that's what they do. They tell you when the power's gone. Same sort of thing on a 300. There you go. Now, these things work quite nicely, actually. Uh, one of the things I've noticed, though, you know, the, the power cable that's supplied with it change it and uh, what you can do just put a normal computer one I'll see if I've got an old one here that's the one that sort of comes with it but it's really really fine I've actually cut one I'll just show you this that's the one that actually comes like with a 600 I think it is now you can see this can you see just how thin that stuff is what happened was when they um, sent me this, they didn't actually check, but there was a, the, the, the two eyes were cut, uh, catching, so it did, the whole thing just sort of blew up a bit. But look how thin that is. If you can sort of see that. So what I then go and do, I'll just change it to a normal uh, computer one, um, which basically it sort of looks something like that. That's normal computer one, but it's much thicker. If you compare one to the other, I'll just check, get the other one. That's literally, a, that's, you can see the different thickness. And there's basically more wire on this, on this one here. So then, so that's the first thing I do, and you also get more power out of it as well. And, um, and that's pretty much it. Now this whole thing is uh, on a timer. So all, all, all these things are sort of connected to there. At the moment, I've got two working, uh, which is this one and that one. Um, I might put the, this other 300 working as well uh, at some point, which is basically this lead here. So once I connect that, um, I'll have power going into uh, to the house. And from this socket here, I've got this little fan here that keeps everything cool on that 600 she's attached to a little solar panel outside um, then it goes on to this which is basically a timer 
so what happens is six o'clock in the morning or so uh, the timer kicks in I've already got the DC side of things so the solar panels already putting uh, power on this on this side of things as soon as the timer kicks in then the AC is on then so it's like a gate so it opens the gate and the, that power starts feeding through to the house um, today I'm probably making about 300 something watts 356 I think it is the last time I checked in the house but that's pretty much it um, and that's pretty much my update so you could go with the batteries I'm thinking of actually selling them and all these uh, the grid all this stuff here I might keep one or two batteries just in case uh, but that's pretty much it now I've been checked you know I've been um, testing these and they actually work quite well um, the thing is see the 600 realistically you're in another users users will probably tell you you'll be quite lucky to get 300 and something out of it due to the fact that you know the fan will kick in and it'll just um, the way I, the way I work is the 600 you'll probably get 300 watts out of it a 300 you'll probably well I've seen 175 out of this one so that's cool um, and then that's it then all the other 600 so in theory what I've got here it's um, just standard basically a thousand watts although it looks more because 66 is 1200 then you've got another 600 so 1800 but really realistically like world output uh, you're probably looking about 800 900 watts without really anything sort of overheating or, or the fan kicking in or so um, that's the way it, at the moment it's it's working and um, they're safe to use I mean you know if, if the grid goes down the whole thing sort of shuts down so um, they're good like that but you know it's up to at the end of the day it's up to the customer what do you want to do do you want to go and do the full uh, thing where you get your you know you get your tax well you get your money from the um, feeding in tra tariffs but it, it's a lot of paperwork plus it's a lot a lot a lot expensive where you can just get a few solar panels and you get one of these things and you can uh, just hook it up to your grid and, and that's it but you know I'm not one to say oh, do this do that do that at the end of the day people got options I chose this option I'm happy with it so far um, and, and that's pretty much it and you can get all of this stuff on my website that's the meter this as well I'm bringing the, some of these in solar panels you name it and also help that's the website there windchaser.eu there's also a dedicated forum where basically you can click on it and they um, I don't know if you can get the wireless here There you go, there's the forum. So far we've got a thousand six hundred members. It's full of good good stuff there. It's about solar panel, wind wind power, pretty much anything to do with uh, renewable energy. Uh, so become a member, join in and uh, have fun with it. And just you gotta decide what you wanna do. Do you wanna go with batteries and that those sort of inverters? Or do you wanna just forget the batteries and just go with this the grid tie inverters um, I'm actually going to try and sell these the battery bank and, and maybe get a few more solar panels because they are beautiful aren't they and that's it that's all they do produce power without any maintenance whatsoever and you can also supplement the whole thing with wind turbine if you live in a windy area that's what I've made. I also I sell the motor and I sell the blades. Okay guys, I'll see you at windchasers.eu. Come and join us.